Rack systems are one of the most important applications of LLMs or AI in general. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a simple rack system in only five minutes. We also have two examples of reading invoices or a coffee machine manual to answer a few questions using this system. Let's get started. All right. So this rack system has only five simple steps. And the first step starts with uploading a PDF and how to read that PDF. And then we extract the pages and we extract the text out of those pages. Then we embed or convert those texts to numbers because for AI it's easier to read numbers than text. And then we use Face, which is Facebook AI uh, library for adding text or searching for text in a database. And finally, we write some code for asking those questions and getting the answer. First, we need to go to uh, Google Colab. Just search for Colab, open Google Colab. This is a coding environment for free. You can use it and implement, implement some code and run the applications here. Click on new notebook and it's going to load this page. Here uh, we have a few cells here to run the codes. I'm going to add some more. So first we're going to install uh, PyPDF2, which helps us uh, read the PDF with this PDF reader and then extract the pages and extract the text uh, from the page. So I'm going to run this. All right, this is done. And uh, next I'm going to install OpenAI for uh, basically having the chatbot, that intelligence layer that we need for the rack system. Here, obviously, you need some uh, API key. I already got this. In the other videos, I told you how to get the API key from OpenAI. API key equals to whatever I got from OpenAI. And here we're going to install OpenAI library. Then we are going to give it the key, and it's going to build this embedding layer. Embedding means converting text to numbers or vectors, basically make it easier for LLMs or AI models to work with your data. This is done now. Next, we have a face library, Facebook AI similarity search. So what it does is basically searching for these chunks or these buckets of data that we are giving to the uh, rack system. Now, Facebook has a pretty good library for this and it only has two important functions. One is add, adding text to the um, database and searching uh, for the data that you're looking for in that database. Now we're going to the next step, which is processing the PDF and getting the embedding out of the PDF. So this is using the face library to convert the PDF text to vectors here. I'm going to run this. Next, we have the function to search for uh, or ask the question and search for the answers here. So here the input is the question. And then we call GPT API uh, to basically get the answers. So here you can also change the uh, LLM to many if you are going to use this uh, rack system often and you're OK with the accuracy. You can just downgrade the LLM to many. OK, that works. Here we have another function for the UI. Gradio is one of the favorite, my favorite uh, UI libraries because you can have uh, chatbots UI for very uh, easy coding and it works pretty good with uh, simple chatbots. And we, we add options for uploading a PDF, process the PDF, and then get the status and then ask the question, get the answers. All right, we run this. And as you can see, the chatbot is already here. Now, the rack system is completed. And I'm going to tell you how to basically use this rack system. So we have one example here. Let's get started with this uh, coffee machine. It might take a few seconds because the, the coffee machine instruction manual PDF got about like 70 pages. So the beauty of rack system is when you have a large document, seven, 70 pages or 700 pages, it's really hard to uh, search for answers manually or using software to do that. But with LLMs or uh, AI apps, you can do that easily. So right now what's happening here, this PDF is going through the pipeline. It's getting processed to extract the pages and the text and then converting those texts to vectors, which makes it easier for AI models to uh, analyze and access those data. So PDF processed and ready for the question. 
Uh, let me see. So one problem I have with my coffee machine is uh, the cleaning cycles. Uh, I never know when the cleaning is needed or what to do. And always have to go and open the PDF or the, the booklet to get the answer. Let's ask it here. Uh, what is the, in the indicator for cleaning cycle? So the cleaning cycle is uh, the clean DSK light uh, in a flash mode. That's pretty good. That's accurate. Uh, let's say, yeah, what is the indicator for descaling? For the descaling, it says the light illuminates solidly. So it says solid, not flashing. That's pretty good. So you see, it can find the answer. Not only it finds the answer, it gives you the accurate answer. So that's pretty good. And now let's go and give it some uh, other example with this uh, QuickBook invoice that I have. It's less data, but it involves some numbers. Uh, so I want to know what happened in the last invoice I got from uh, QuickBook. Uh, give me a summary of the invoice. You see, it just breaks down. It says what, what was the date, uh, what are the costs, discounts. All of this data comes from the PDF and 100% accurate with what we have in the PDF. So this was basically a very simple rack system. Uh, you know, in the real world use cases, obviously this rack system cannot work, but this creates the baseline that you need for building a rack system. Uh, there are a few challenges for real world problems uh, for example the security and privacy if you don't want to use the uh, open ai or other companies llms or you don't trust them with your data uh, you have privacy or security concerns you need to build your own rack system right or sometimes the scalability right you cannot just go and use open ai's rack system because uh, they cannot process ter terabytes of data or gigabytes of data efficiently you need to custom build those uh, rack system for your own cases. Or uh, another challenge is the nature of your data. If you have, let's say, financial data or legal data, you cannot just go and use uh, out-of-the-box solutions, off-the-shelf solutions for rack systems that these companies offer. You need a custom built rack system that's uh, fine-tuned for the nuances of your data. If you need to implement a cutting edge rack system to chat with your own data and you need some help, don't hesitate to reach out to me. I'll be more than happy to help you with that project. Have a good one.